Hello, my name is Richard, I'm from London, and I'd like to know exactly what is the EU asylum policy. Almost a quarter of a million people sought asylum in the EU over the last 12 months, fleeing war, repression, poverty and hardship in the hopes of sharing Europe's peace and prosperity. Most were rejected, despite the conditions they left behind. We know that these people come from countries such as Somalia, Sudan, Afghanistan, where there are um, very serious protection concerns. The EU's external border agency, Frontex, recently sent forces to help Greece control its border with Turkey in the face of a wave of migrants. Frontex oversees cooperation among member states protecting the EU's external frontiers. The overall strategy on asylum and immigration, your asylum, is part of the Stockholm Action Plan adopted in June 2010. With the EU labour force expected to shrink by 50 million in 50 years, it acknowledges that migration may be needed to address labour shortages. Meanwhile, member states deal with it in different ways. Indeed, there are still great uh, differences in the um, procedures, in the practices amongst member states. And this, despite um, a, an attempt at harmonising, converging their systems, their asylum systems, uh, that, has, that goes back to the beginning of 2000. We would not resolve uh, the migration issue within Europe without having a common policy throughout. Uh, uh, th that's, that's obvious when we have uh, a freedom of movement inside the EU countries. And now what happens is that governments are competing downwards in order for migrants to feel that we are not the attractive country for you, you could go somewhere else. The media stories on asylum policy feature boat people struggling across unfriendly seas from North Africa. Normally the facts are rather different. The highest number of applicants come from Russia, mainly Chechnya, closely followed by those from Afghanistan and then Iraq. Next come Somalia, Kosovo and behind them Iran and Pakistan. Smaller numbers come from many other countries. Germany gets the highest number of applicants by far, followed by France, then the UK, the Netherlands and Austria. Rejected applicants who cannot be returned to their country of origin because it's too dangerous are returned instead to the EU country through which they entered under the so-called Dublin Convention. It is um, a system that um, does create an, an incredible um, uh, responsibility for uh, states at the southern borders to um, put up reception capacities and it is totally contrary to the uh, sort of solidarity principle that is so much um, in, the, in the public declarations of the member states. Another body, Eurodac, fingerprints applicants to ensure against criminals but also against double applications. Some countries are seeking not only to cap migration but to impose strict rules for family members hoping to join successful applicants in Europe. Family reunification is a human right and we know that it's, it's good for everyone, for the migrants themselves but also for the societies where they are if they could have their, their loved ones with them and the children could be with their parents for instance. Very important and it's a human right. There are hopes that a genuinely unified system in terms of quality of reception, facilities provided and criteria for acceptance can be in place by 2012.